Hey everybody, Christy Titus here, and I'm with Carlos from Horace Vision, and today we're talking about the new and improved CATS Target. And what is so great about this new target is it's designed to ensure that a shooter is not canting their rifle, and it's also a great way to test the trackability of your optic. Exactly. So what we have here is essentially is a uh, three targets on one piece of paper that, like you said, is used to ensure that the trackability of your turret is spot on, as well as ensuring that the rifle and rifle scope is not canted. The really important thing about using this target is data. If we have good data going in, we get good data coming out. So setup on this target is really critical. So exactly what you said, this is a tool. It is a very calibrated piece of equipment. So we need to ensure that when we're setting this up in the field, that it is spot on. It needs to be level both up and down and back and forth to the shooter's position just to make sure that we are not uh, getting inaccuracies when we're testing the tracking in our turret. And I'm going to make sure that it is perpendicular this way back and forth, as well as line up the bubble level along these target lines just to make sure that we have it perfectly situated on the target backing. Another consideration for this test to be accurate is shooters need to be using a firearm and ammunition combination that is capable of repeating a half minute of angle of accuracy or less. Today's optics manufacturers are holding their products to the utmost standard. They are testing in laboratory conditions with uh, one piece of equipment that has been validated to another piece of equipment that has been validated. Out here, we're in the elements. We are testing uh, our rifle, our ammo, our shooting ability. What it really comes down to is the shooter's ability to apply the fundamentals of marksmanship and get on these targets accurately as well. Exactly. Now that everybody knows what the system is, let's talk about how we actually use the system. Um, so basically what you're going to do is aim at these points on the bottom of the target. This will be your only aiming point throughout the entirety of the test. You're gonna aim here, and if you have a mil radian scope, you can dial up one mil, still aiming here, pull the trigger, your impact should be right about here. So your point of aim through the entire exercise never changes. The only thing that changes is how you dial your turret. Exactly, you're testing the turrets. So when you're dialing, your turret is going to be tracking up and down, but your point of aim is still going to be here. This target is calibrated to be used at 100 yards. However, there might be some small modifications you may need to make to your setup. The reason being is because we are using external factors like our, our rangefinder that have plus or minus abilities. So what really matters here is that the reticle subtensions that you are seeing in your scope align with the lines that you're seeing on the target. For example, if I am aiming here, one mil in my reticle should line up perfectly with one mil on the target. If it doesn't, I will need to either move my target or my shooting position back or forward until one mil on the target equals one mil in your scope. Well, Christy, we've talked about what this target is, what it can do and how to set it up. Now let's go shoot it. Yeah, it's gonna be fun, I'm excited. I went into this exercise really excited to put to test my factory rifle, ammunition, and then obviously myself. And, you know, very excited to see that I was well within, you know, that half minute of angle accuracy, which is what we're looking for from this exercise. Oh, absolutely. Our initial zero was about a tenth mil high, but that's where we had it zeroed initially. So we dialed a mil, two mils, three mils, four mils, and we're all well within half a minute of angle of our initial zero being at about a tenth mil high. Well, I think what this really does is it equates to the average shooter that's shooting just a factory gun. You can still test your equipment. You can still see what your equipment's capabilities are. You don't have to be a world-class shooter to use this target. You don't have to have a high-end custom rifle. It's great if you have those things and you wanna test that precision, but for the average shooter, this is still a target that's extremely valuable to give you insight on your entire weapon system. If you would like to check out the CATS target yourself, go to horusvision.com or contact their customer service department.